Hey, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. We're not in the kitchen, we're not in the garden. We're heading into town. We need a desk for a work area. It's a small home, every foot counts. We have to make it work. While we're in town, let's have a look at some of the unique niceties of Tweed and maybe meet a shop owner or two. So as you can see, this is North America's smallest jailhouse in Tweed and from what I know from the locals it was only ever used as I don't think anyone actually was held here for a major crime correct me if I'm wrong if someone knows yes I do you do? Was, only one who? way back when it was first built yeah he killed his wife he kept saying that uh, he was delusional and she turned into a lizard oh so he killed her <laughs> we have lizard people here guys <laughs> So he killed her, but basically it was used as a holding tank for the drunks. That's basically what it was. Yeah. It's a cute little building. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> There's the Tweed Jailhouse. It's now used as a visitor information. And Tweed, here we go, 1891. Gateway to the land of the lakes. What a small little place. Yeah, really, eh? Is there even any windows in the sides? Doesn't no. look like it. And look, it's right beside a church in case, you know, you want to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> look, look what we found. An antique type store. Oh my. How many of you remember these goodies? Oh, I love tins. What's that for? What would you use it for? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a tool. How's that? Oh, look. An antique crown mason jar there's some more in the back of course i come zooming in to see these don't know why <laughs> and look at this oh aren't they beautiful I'm looking for that skin. oh yeah are these bobbins of some kind like for a spinning machine am yeah, I, I have no idea i'm guessing people help me out is that what these are Oh, a crock, $65. When we left our farm, we gave away <coughs> like at least a dozen of this size or bigger. There was one bigger. Too. A lot more bigger. Yeah, a lot bigger. <coughs> Here's the weights for the weigh scale we used to have in the kitchen, remember? Yeah, I remember, yeah. <coughs> I love this kind of stuff. You look, oh, look at the little barrels. Oh my, there's stories and, oh Andy, is this one of those things you're looking for? Where? They look like they're all down here. No. No way? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You might have to ask, they probably have it. They have everything. Yeah. I'm looking for crystal doorknobs, even if it's fake crystal, I don't care. Look at that dairy. This is how our milk used to be delivered. I remember the milkman delivering glass bottles in these big crates and the cream coming to the top. How much are those lanterns? $100. Really? Set of two. So $50 a piece. It's because, oh, look at the old dollhouse. I know. <laughs> nice, eh? Yes. I want Andy to get one of these irons. My eyes are fogging up for a press on his barbecue. Oh my. Oh, that's heavy. $10, that's not bad. $30 for the old cast iron flat pan back there. And they got some Dutch ovens down here. Old radios. 
This place is just awesome. But I'm loving it. Duck decoys, buttons, political. Huh. Underwear models. See, playtex. Yes. Are you going on our show? We have a YouTube channel. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, owner. What's your name, hon? My name is Juanita. And the name of your shop? It's Use It Again. Use It Again in Tweed, Ontario. We're in a tin light. You'll see us here a lot. Yes. Yes, until it burnt down, until right? Until it sort of burnt down. That's right. <laughs> Everything. Be, yeah. And because the railroad was in Tweed, there was a, um, a wagon that would go back and forth a couple right. times a week. Yep. Oh, right? oh, from yeah. McTinnellite to, to Tweed. Oh, well, my. The, the old-fashioned old bus. bus. The old bus. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Wow. Yeah. See, you want to learn the history of your hometown. you got to come into the name of the star again. Use it again. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> It has a crack, but nostalgia, like that's a minnow. She said it's a minnow catcher. Check this out. The fish go in, made of glass. Back in the day when they knew better than to use plastic. That's awesome. If you are ever in Tweed, Ontario, you gotta come in here. What a lovely lady. And her stuff is so unique. So we found a little thrift store here, across the street from the lovely lady's store. And we found what I need, guys. Let's see if it'll fit. We had to run home and do an exact measure. Yep. Costume, jewelry. Oh. Yeah, we have a guy that comes in and tests all the stuff. So oh, yeah. Look at my new desk, guys. Okay. $30. Look at that. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I did. I only shoot people on the good sides. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. got your basic thrift store novelties. Ooh. See cooking books. <clears throat> They're better than novels, guys. <clears throat> Lots of cooking books. Yeah. I love some of the old architecture and detail working they put in these old buildings. You don't see that much anymore. Some of you may know from the local news, this was Tweed's historical pub slash hotel. It's gone. They were actually selling remnants of well, bricks, pieces of the brick for $100 a piece. According to gossip, who knows if it's true, but the day it burnt down, they crunched it to the ground. It was so unstable it went up on all four corners all people are brought flowers <laughs> it was sad it was part of tweet's history right yeah yeah oh, shit. oh look there's a couple hundred dollars worth of bricks <laughs> I got not a lot a lot of stuff here in tweed but there's some quaint little shops. And I think before COVID hit, a lot more of them were open. You're seeing a lot of closed, business closed, COVID restriction, um, which is a shame. I mean, here we have a town without a Walmart. Real small town, right?